Hey guys, Chris Bill, Comic Book University, and Immortal Iron Fists, plural, issue number six of six. This is a digital-only comic. So check this out. Basically, everybody's forgotten about Pei, her existence, and somehow they're able to remember. Like, everybody still knows that something's going on. They know there's something important. Even the social worker comes over. It's like, yeah, I want to talk to you about, wait, you have a kid someplace, right? No, wait, what's her name? Ah, and like, you know, it's a weird kind of funny thing. And that's the main thing, is this comic is supposed to be funny, uh, while at the same time apparently empowering, which I don't know that necessarily pulls that off, but we'll explore that in a moment. So basically, Pei is on her own in a world where she can't connect with her chi anymore. The chi of Kunlun doesn't flow through to this dimension. So all of a sudden, the, uh, you know, she's in this gladiatorial arena, she's kicking some butt, she's saving Jace, but then the mother of all dragons shows up. And that's not just a nickname, that's actually her name. The mother who gives birth to all of these dragons of Kunlun, she shows up, she's like, there you are, I'm so tired of you, killing all, you people killing all my kids. You are the mark but you're, you haven't earned it. I still sense fear. I'm going to kill you. Well, Jace at one point jumps in front of the fire of this dragon, this mother of all dragons, and he gets burned and he dies. Uh, somehow the power of love saves him. <laughs> and she is going to have to uh, find a way without her chi to destroy this dragon. But that's pretty much impossible without her chi. And Danny can't connect with her because he... You know, she can't connect with her chi. Like, it's a really messed up thing. So instead of finding her and getting to her, one of the girls recommends, and this is really cheesy, but it's kind of endearing also. If you think that this is just simply for kids, it's actually kind of endearing. Uh, Danny is reminded, maybe she doesn't need help. Maybe she just needs empowerment. So he just sends his chi to where she's supposed to be because they share a bond much greater than any regular old chi. So he sends his chi to her since she'd given it to him in the previous issue, and she's charged now. And uh, basically, you know, there's a nice happy ending, And but this comic does have problems, make no mistake, and that's coming up in the grade right now. I want you to remember that I'm not just giving the grade to this comic, but I'm also giving it to the whole series, because this is the wrap-up, and that uh, the closing of an arc is even more important than the opening. So... That's kind of necessary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this entire series a B. This was fun. This was a, this was just so much fun to read. The art really was lacking a lot. At the same time, it wasn't particularly bad. So it could just be said that this was made for kids. Kids are always on these apps and whatnot. So maybe that's just the case. Maybe that's what it is. But the way I see it is, uh, for me, I would have liked the art to have been better. But this was a very interesting style, and I do see that this was actually rendered into a style. Maybe the artist can actually draw better than this. I actually don't know. But what I do know is that the writing was actually pretty good for this, for it being a kid's book, you know, an introduction to kids to a new character, namely Pei. And we are promised that Pei's returning, so all that's good. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.